Well, good luck, because I've got a fully automatic Chevy Suburban. <laughs>
What's this? And a bunch of plungers are going over there and stuff's happening. Am I on the leaderboard? Do I want to share my score with others? Probably not, because then others would know I play a game called Toilet Time. And that's something I would like to keep between you and me. Again, I've never gotten a cheeseburger from a toilet, so... Or a My Little Pony. What, what's next? Oh, a, a vase. You know what? I, I, can I get a Fabergé egg? Or, oh, a piece of shiny chocolate. How about a Rolls Royce? Can you give me a Rolls Royce? Oh, some kind type of horsey creature. And now a pig. Now this is just not making any sense. I mean, farm animals? Come on. Mythical creatures? Whoever came up with this game is, I'm pretty sure he does drugs or has some type of inappropriate fetish, of which I, I don't know. Oh, that's where I put my glasses. They were in the toilet the whole time. And another cheeseburger? Well, now they're just re rehashing old jokes. Come on. This is this has been a very strange game. Wait. I, oh, you know what? I keep forgetting. It's not part of the game. It's just a stupid... So what is the deal? They show more exciting game commercials than the actual game I'm playing. That just seems counterintuitive. But anyway, I hope you kids have liked this game. This has been Grandpa Lemon playing Toilet Time. Uh, again, not really sure what this game's about. But uh, if you liked it, be sure and hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our gaming channel, uh, you should do that. And in the meantime... Oh, yep, I, I just used the bathroom. Wow, isn't that, uh, isn't that something? Somewhat ironic, I guess, considering I've been playing a game about using the bathroom. And I actually did just use the bathroom. So, on that note, uh, I'm going to see you kids later. This is Grandpa Lemon. And don't forget to... <laughs>
you're just asking for it, especially when you're in a profession like plumbing where you know you're going to see a person's butt crack. I mean, that's just a given. I would want to wear some of those high-waisted jeans. So when I bent over, you know, everyone didn't get a show of old Grandpa Lemon's rear end. Come on. And why hasn't this guy finished fixing my sink yet? Well, now he's, now he's out cold. Or she. Could be a man or a woman. We don't know. Come on. Wow, I'm, I'm like the Michael Jordan of butt shots. You know, like... Look at that. I'm making all kinds of money. I wish there was, now that I think about it, I wish there was a plumber like this in real life. One where if I just threw ice in his butt crack, he'd give me money. Then I could just pay for his services. What is this? Wow, that was a big one. That was a, I'm pretty sure that was a squirter, as they say. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of interesting how they made this character ambiguous. Like, you can't really tell if it's a man or a woman. Whatever it is, this person clearly has IBS. All right, let's let's get that out of the way. This person clearly is suffering from irritable bowel syndrome because, my God, they've been they've been tooting up a storm. I mean, their mud whistle is like Dizzy Gillespie. Just, I mean, they're just wailing away on that toot machine. Come on. I mean, how many points do I have? I mean, I have to have a lot. I also noticed there's a bomb in the lower left-hand corner that says 40. Now, I don't know if I have to light that bomb off or, or what, but this is... Come on. Oh, oh he's trying to block the shot like Shaquille O'Neal. Not going to happen, buddy. My, I've been working on my jump shot. Look at that. That's a spine rider right there. Oh, you blocked that one. You got lucky. There we go. Get, get in there. All right. I'm starting to like this game. Getting pretty good at it. Up. Oh, I think he blocked that one now. Come on, get in there. You got it. Well, I guess there's not that much more to this game. Uh, so I guess I'll leave it there, kids. Uh, I hope you like this video. I don't know if you're going to like the game, but uh, if you did like this video, be sure and click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, why don't you get on it and... Uh, and go subscribe. I'm pretty sure I talked to Orange. He said it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. So, so just make sure you subscribe. I'm pretty sure it's free. Uh, my name's Grandpa Lemon. And remember, if you're ever crossing the street, make sure you... <laughs> hey, kids. Today I'm playing... Oh, my good toilet simulator. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this, seeing as how I'm not Japanese or German. Um, all right, toilet instructions. Well, that's pretty much self-explanatory. <laughs> am I am I using the restroom? <clears throat> oh my goodness! I I guess I guess I'm uh, releasing a little lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh, oh my! I I I believe I just farted. <laughs> Oh, oh, apparently my character just came from Taco Bell. <laughs> Whoa! It must have been an all-you-can-eat gordita fest. Goodness gracious. My mud whistle is tooting something fierce. Wow. Trashgames.co.uk. Okay, now, I don't know what the purpose of this game is, because I keep mashing the buttons, and all I'm doing, apparently, is farting and a whole lot and flushing the toilet. Is that it? So basically your job is to be the world's most disgusting human being and fart a whole bunch. I haven't really figured out anything else. All right, here we go. We can make a little music. I'm like, I'm like Dougie Fresh with my balloon knot. <laughs> I should start a rap group. We could be the, we could be Kanye West and the Fabulous Toots. I could back him up. Yeah. You hear that? That's my butthole, baby. Yeah. Feeling good. Oh, wow. It's like my balloon knot is Mozart and I am just conducting a symphony. Woo! 
That is the last time I eat Indian food, I tell you that much. Wow. All right. I think I'm going to quit this game. It's too weird. Uh, well, this has been Grandpa Lemon playing what is quite possibly one of the strangest slash weirdest games I've ever played. If you liked it, and I don't know why you would, uh, but just do me a favor. Hit that like button anyway, and, and subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more where that came from. Until next time, kids, I'm Grandpa Lemon, and I'll... <laughs>
When I was a child, I had a little... I had a little monkey called E.E. E. It was a little stuffed monkey that looked just like this one. Wait, is this a gun that shoots cars? Time out! This just got way more awesome! Ha 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 ha! Is that a SWAT team that's coming after me? Yeah, well, good luck, because I've got a fully automatic Chevy Suburban! Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, I feel so alive, kids! If you ever get a hold of a gun that shoots automobiles, don't ever point it at a human being. Do not. And certainly don't ever pull the trigger and shoot automobiles at people. If, if there's one lesson I want you kids to take away today, it's this. Oh, they don't like me very much. I'm... Oh, wait. Are they... Are, are, what is going on? Now, where are these people coming from? Now they have guns? This is just so strange. Everyone's everyone's running away from me? Wow. This game is fun, I gotta tell you guys. Whoa, there's that go. There it goes again. Alright, kids, Grandpa Lemon here, and today I'm playing Deer Hunter. Hopefully it doesn't end with me in a Vietnamese prison camp playing Russian Roulette with Christopher Walken and Robert De Niro. That's a reference to an Oscar-winning movie called The Deer Hunter for you kids that aren't cinephiles like old Grandpa Lemon here. All right. Let me get a little over and under action here. Looks like uh, maybe a Remington. All right. I think I... Did I select it? All right. Uh, that's a bolt-action hunting rifle. Maybe that'll help. All right, let's see. Kill two ducks. All right, I think I picked the wrong gun for killing ducks. I picked a hunting rifle, which is, if you know hunting, that's about the stupidest thing you can do, but I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just mashing buttons here. Oh, there we go. Now I got the shotgun. All right. Death from below. Wait, how do I move the... There we go. Darn it. Come on, shoot him. Trying to, oh, okay, there we go. Now I can sight it in. Uh, oh, now I figured it out, I think. All right. Oh, is that a, is that a duck? I can't tell. My eyesight's not so good, kids. Oh, there we go. Is that one? I can't tell if that's a duck or a bat. Well, either way, ducks and bats scare me, so you're going to die, pal. Come on. Oh, yeah! Got him! Alright. Ah! Oh, two for two! Alright. Have you kids ever tried duck? I tried it a couple times. It's actually pretty good. Alright. Now let's go hunt some... Box. Oh, sorry, kids. I ate some beef jerky earlier today. All right. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I need the hunting rifle for this one. All right. Time to meet your maker. Oh, look at that. It's like the Matrix. Oh, yeah. He's definitely... He, he's going to have a bad day. All right. Killed a bighorn sheep. I felt like he was threatening me with those those giant horns of his, so I had to do what I had to do. Grantham Model 500. Is that good? I don't know. Oh, it's good enough to take down a sheep. <laughs> I'm in the... Look, says here I'm hunting in the Pacific Northwest. wonder if I'm going to run into any... Marijuana grow operations. All right. This is scary. Being in the woods all by myself. Oh, wait. There's a deer. Okay, here we go. Aim for the heart. Aim for the heart. You got this. Come on. Yeah! Oh, crap. He's still alive. Get him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. Oh! Darn it. Now they're all running away. No, don't run away. Oh, look at that. Boom goes the dynamite, kids. 
And that's how you kill a deer. I'll tell you what, I'm a much I'm a much bigger fan of duck than I am venison. Venison tends to be a little bit gamey. Just letting you kids know. Alright. Aren't you adorable? You're gonna look beautiful in my living room. Ha ha ha! You know what? I should get Chuck Testa to mount this. Oh! Yeah! Grandpa one! Your spinal column, zero. Ha, ha, ha. All right, I leveled up after that. Suppose I'm getting a reputation around these parts now. I accept the challenge. Oh, it's nighttime now. Harder to see. Oh, look at the beautiful fireflies. Oh, that is just adorable. I wonder if I can shoot that. Oh, wait, there's a deer. Oh, he's, he's distracted by the... Oh, I hit him in the butt. That was a bad shot. Let's try this again. Come on. Get back here, Bambi. Ah, uh, fiddlesticks. Come on. Oh, my eyesight ain't what it used to be. I was distracted by the beautiful... Wait. Is it... I think I... Oh, I thought I saw something. I'll tell you what. This is a tough game if you don't have good eyesight, kids. Whoa, time to upgrade. Who is that girl? I wouldn't mind upgrading to a date with her. Is that how this game works? If I kill enough animals, I get to date hot girls? I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. If that's the case, I better start shooting some deer real quick. All right. Fireflies, fireflies, is that? Oh, that is, it's a deer. All right, hold on. Oh, there he, oh no, I didn't kill him. Come on, there we go. Yes! Ah! Oh. So much for one shot, one kill. But hey, two shots, one kill, still the same outcome. I wonder if that's an internet video. Two shots, one kill. All right. I accept the challenge. I wonder if Bambi makes a cameo in this game. That would be kind of cool. All right. Don't mind me, little dears. Wait, to tap, activate, infrared. Whoa, infrared? That's kind of cool. Oh, I feel like the Predator. Did you guys ever see that movie? Yeah, one white-tailed deer down. Oh, with a lung shot. I guess I was making it hard for him to breathe. I think that's a song too, right? All right, here we go. Where's a deer? I don't see any. Oh, look at those butterflies there. What's that? Uh, whatever it is, I'm gonna shoot you in the butt. Oh, there's a wolf. Predator alerted. Predators attack when alerted. Oh, no. Oh. That's for Liam Neeson in the gray. I love that movie. He's a national treasure. Anytime I can get some payback, I will. <laughs> hey, kids. Grandpa Lemon here, and today I'm playing one of my favorite games, Happy Wheels. You know, a good old game. Let's see what we got here. Ultimate Payback, Speed Bridge. Let's try Ultimate Payback. Help! Don't move. So Whoa! Oh, God! What the heck? I Did my character just witness a homicide? Now I have to chase after them in a John Deere riding lawnmower. This seems like if a redneck was a cop, this would be, like, his wet dream. Like, Ow! Breaker! Whoa! Wow, that did not end well for him. When you get your legs very quickly chopped off and then impaled on a wall of spikes, uh, it's not a good Monday. It's not a good look for anybody, I don't think. Let's see. All right. It's a little bit... Whoa, watch out for that banana peel. If cartoons have taught us anything, it's very slippery. Oh, whoa. 
Hold on, picking it up before someone hurts themselves. All right, all right, shut up. What, are these people talking smack to me? What the heck is this? Am I in a... Whoa, I'm in some kind of house of horrors. Let's get the heck out of there. I'm sorry, son, I had to take you to Hannibal Lecter's place. And now we're clearly uh, in war-torn Syria. Hopefully we don't run into ISIS or anybody else. This is crazy. Did that person have an Ace Ventura poster in their room? What was that? I'm going up and back and out. Whoop. Hold on a sec there. Let me let me just get over that there. There we go. And now I'm going to pedal up this. Come on. You can. Come on, Grandpa Lemon. There you just use your. There we go. All right. Now we're talking. Whee! <laughs> All right. Whoa. Oh, darn it. I couldn't stick that landing. Sorry, son. Daddy's been dismembered in a million different pieces, and he's bleeding out. All right. Let's try a different one. Let's see. Browse levels. Uh, let me search for something. Let's see. Let's try... No levels found using Grandpa Lemon. There's, there's no Grandpa Lemon? How about, yeah, let's try Five Nights. Oh, they do! Five Nights at Freddy. Wow! Oh, wow, that was pretty quick. And not very satisfying, if I'm being honest. That was very easy. Let me pick a character. Let's pick a character here. Apparently, I'm in a small box that I share with some type of pink alien creature. Let's go to a different one. Five Nights at Freddy 4 V1. I don't know what that means. Whoa! I came in like a wrecking ball! Right, guys? Just like Miley. Oh! Except it didn't end. Like, see, Miley, she, I thought you could just ride on the wrecking ball like she did, and it wouldn't hurt you. And if anything, it might be mildly erotic, but it clearly is not working because this wrecking ball means business. It's it's out for blood. I just got to time this just right. There we go. Ah, ha, ha, I beat ya. Well, oh, sorry, son. You don't need those legs anyway. Get you a cool wheelchair. And now he only has one arm, barely hanging on by tendons, and we're dead. And we died. Sorry. Ah, oh, gosh. It's my number one fear now. I, I, I can never have children because if I were to take them on a bike ride, I would instantly think of this video game all the time. I would be so scared. All right, here we go. Come on. Yeah. I got this. Oh, I just got to stick the landing. There we go. Now, what just happened? I didn't do anything, and I lost my leg. That's crazy. All right, just stay. There we go. Whoa! Son, I'm sorry! Daddy loves you! Oh, those are my intestines. That's at least 8 to 12 feet of my intestines hanging out. That's, that's not a good look for anybody. All right, five nights at Fred. E3, apparently. Oh, it's another one of those wrecking balls. I came in like party in the USA. I love my side. Oh, oh boy, that's my head's still rolling though. Didn't I just try this one five nights? How many Five Nights at Freddy's are there? Hey, Buster, what the heck was that? I'm trying to get by you. What? What the heck was that? That's not cool. Hey, is this a bouncer? He's trying to keep me from going in there? Come on. Let's try a different one. All right, this looks more normal. Is something going to pop out and kill me? Oh, yeah. It just look at that. I almost made it. But then I got double katanas to the face. That's, that's never fun. Oh, come on. Whoa, that one's sticking in a place that I don't think is very good. Did I win? Come on, I made it across the finish line. I don't get to win? That's ridiculous. Well, anyway, kids, I got to get going. 
Grandpa Lemon's got some very important things to do. If you like this video, just click the like button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't. My name's Grandpa Lemon and just remember, every time you play Happy Wheels, the trick is to... <laughs> hey kids, Grandpa Lemon here today and, and it looks like I'm playing a game called First Blood Kill the Betrayer. Roger that. All right. Oh, it's like a shooting game. All right. So, I'm playing this game on on it's called an iPhone. Boy, these phones are completely different than what I'm used to. So, I, I guess I Okay, there there's an arrow pointing at this guy here by the bus stop. So, aim at the target. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Yeah. It's like a scope. Let me let me just move it up here. There he is. Okay. So, I got to take out that guy. Apparently because he's a bad dresser. I, I don't know. Those skinny jeans, I never was a fan of them. I, I never understood them. Whoa! Oh my god! Call me AT&T because I just reached out and touched someone. Wow! Oh my goodness. Looks like his shirt's melting. <laughs> okay. Now I, I... This is not the best spot for a sniper to be. But apparently that's where I am, and I'm zooming in here. Okay. See if I can take out this person with the dad jeans. He looks like he's got something stuck in his butt the way he or she is walking. Am I wrong? I mean, look at that. They look very uncomfortable. Maybe I can just shoot it. I don't know. Whoa! Mission failed. Wait, I killed an innocent person. Well, I don't know who I'm supposed to to shoot. All right, let's, the meeting. Kill the guy with red jacket. You mean with the red jacket. God, even in video games, they don't use proper grammar anymore. All right, so I got to get that guy, I think, in the red. I don't know if it's a drug deal going on. He does have a beard, and I know hippies have beards, so he's probably trying to sell them various drugs. I don't know. But there we go. Yeah! Wait! Oh, no! I shot the guy in white! I meant to hit the guy in red. Darn it! Okay. We found out this red jacket guy was responsible for a pizzeria massacre. Well, I don't... I don't like that. I mean, people just trying to eat pizza. And then this guy comes in and shoots him? Okay. Time for a little vengeance. Grandpa Lemon style. When life gives you lemons, you go out and you buy a... Sniper rifle chambered in 308. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's one way to get ahead in life. <laughs> All right, congratulations, level two. Oh, look at that. I, I won a battery and a diamond, it looks like. Okay. Catch the thief. All right, there's a thief somewhere. Where is he? Uh, let's see. That's a woman. Oh, I don't know if she's the thief. They make it so hard. How am I supposed to tell who the thief is? Mission failed. Oh, darn it. I killed the... I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm very sorry. Hope that didn't mess up your mascara. All right. Oh. That. Wait, where? It's so hard. I don't have enough time to read what it says. Is that the guy running? Oh, there he is. No. Oh, I missed him. Darn it. He's running. All right, I got to get him. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, you get back here. Darn it. Ah. Mission failed. The burglar escaped. Well, maybe if he had slowed down. All right, I got him this time. Come on, Grandpa Lemon. Get your head in the game. All right, he's going to be running by right here. Just got to get a beat on him. There he is. Come here. Don't run. You'll only die tired. <laughs> oh, look at that. Did I did I shoot him in his wrist? Oh, my God. That is pretty ridiculous. Well, he does have horrible tattoos, so... I think I took out one of his tribal tats. That was good. Oh, I remember that rifle. I used to use that back in World War II. Yeah. That's a good one. That's 
That's like the old Mosin, Mosin the Gaunt. Or Mosin the Gaunt. I, I don't know how it's spelled. It's been years since I used one of those. Oh, I've got an urgent call. They probably want me to kill some people. Roger that. By the way, who do I work for in this whole thing? You know, that's what I want to know. Wait, let me... What did I do? Did I... Did I pause it? Oh! Oh, sorry. Sorry, kids. Just had a little... Had a little nap there. Alright, let's see. Recalibrate my aim. Oh. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, it's like another sniper. Too bad he doesn't see me. Let me just get it up there and, uh... Yeah! Taking him out. Oh, snap. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to ruin your suit. <laughs> All right. Tonka... What? Something about the Tonka Bay Police? Something or other? I don't know. All right, so apparently I have to kill uh, that one guy in Blink-182. Roger that. Um, I'm looking for him. Not gonna be hard. Considering that's the only guy that looks like the manager of a Hot Topic. Okay. You're going down, buddy. Oh! I went right through his mohawk! Darn it, it's so deceptive. You feel like it's a part of his body, but actually it's just a giant wall of hair. Hey, where do you think you're going? I gotta get him. Oh, darn it! Oh, you win this time, Travis Barker. But I'm gonna get you next time. All right. Here we go. Time for old Grandpa Lemon to get his game face on. Let me just zoom in there. All right. Hold her steady, Grandpa. Come on. Come on. Get that headshot. Oh, did I get him? And boom goes the dynamite. Wow, this game is pretty, pretty bloody, I have to admit. And I have one more batteries and diamonds. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with all the batteries and diamonds I win. Either way, that was a pretty sweet shot. All right. What's next? Well, I guess that's the end of the game. Uh, I really enjoyed killing indiscriminately. Uh, if you guys like this game, be sure and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to all the different Annoying Orange gaming channels, well, get on it already. My name's Grandpa Lemon, and don't forget to... <laughs>Hey there kids, Grandpa Lemon here, and today I'm playing a game called Hello Neighbor. I, I, I already like the sound of this, you know, because it harkens back to a simpler time. Look at that, white picket fence. Oh, this looks like a beautiful neighborhood. Okay, so I'm gonna pull into my house here, it looks like. All right, press E to open, all right. Yep, just uh, getting some stuff out of my old car here. Maybe putting up some Christmas lights or something. Okay, get inside. Move stuff inside. Oh, oh what's that? Oh, I, I gotta pick that up? Okay. Oh, oh hello! Is that, a, is that a bird smoking a cigarette? Get out of here! I don't like crows. They're a little bit scary. Oh, it's a key. Okay. Oh, I, I just gotta put it in there. All right. That seems simple enough. I get these little boards out of here. Some type of... Oh, it's a crowbar. All right, perfect. Now I can just uh, move these old boards out of here. All right. Yeah, get those nails out. Now, I don't understand. Why were there boards... Is this my house or my neighbor's house? This is strange. Hello? Is anybody home? Okay. It seems a little scary, you know, if I was coming into somebody's home and I was holding a crowbar, I would figure that I wouldn't be very welcome, you know? Hello, is anybody in here? This looks like the set of one of those commercials for depression medication. Ask your doctor 
if a flexa is right for you. May cause dry mouth, diarrhea, night sweats, night terrors, blurry vision. Oh, did I, what's happening? Did I pause the game? This is odd. Oh, let me just hit the little thing there. Wait, did I hit something? Oh, hello? Whoa! Whoa, what the heck? Who is this guy? Wait, wait a sec, are, are you the realtor? Uh, listen, buddy, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa what's, what's going on? This seems like I'm in a bad dream. Oh, oh God, he's drinking milk. Okay, yeah, this guy's definitely a psycho. Oh, he's giving me that creepy McPoyle Brothers vibe. Oh, what's going on? Where, where am I? What the heck? Is that, is that the neighbor? What was that? Hold shift to run. What the heck was that? Oh, I, I don't know if I like this game now. I, I thought it was like a neighborly game. Like I was gonna come over like, hey neighbor, I've got a, I've got a nice pitcher of lemonade for us to drink. It's better if you drink it, cause if I drink lemonade, that's kind of creepy. I think, I don't know, God. Oh boy. It's just very scary, children. Oh, oh boy. Whoa. Whoa! Wait, oh boy. This is, this is scary. I, I, don't, I don't, oh, oh, oh no! Whoa. It's like I'm living it over again. What is happening? Am I in the matrix? It seems like my neighbor is a, uh, well, got, got a bit of the crazies, as they say. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, no. I gotta get away. Is he still running after me? Is he... Oh, okay, good. Oh. My, my neighbor is... Uh, he's officially crazy, and he may or may not be a, a serial killer, it looks like. See, I hate when they trick me. They say, Grandpa Lemon, play this good neighbor game. You're really gonna like it, and it's gonna be real fun. And then it turns out, oh, you also live next to, uh, you know, a potential serial killer? What, what, what is this guy? What's his motivation? Hello? Is anyone home? I'll just go here in the front door. What? Oh, gosh, it's that guy. Oh, get away from me! Oh! Oh, oh gosh. That guy is fast. And I think we can all agree, that's probably the creepiest mustache I've ever seen on a video game character. You're scaring me, and I don't like the game, so so like this if you think it's funny when Grandpa Lemon gets scared from a stupid video game. Just make sure you like it, yeah. And leave a comment. You know what, maybe maybe ask uh, Annoying Orange and everybody, uh, ask them if, if they want uh, me to play another game that, that scares me half to death. And then, you know what, and I look down and, oh, whoops, look who's made lemonade. Yeah, me, because I'm scared. What is, what is that? Is that a milk carton? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Uh, apparently I can go underneath the floor. Okay. I'm gonna throw an old milk carton at the fire. Let's see. Maybe I can find them around here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh God, I think he's chasing after me. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh! Go! Oh, gosh, I hate that! I turn around and he's right there. Oh my goodness. Am I in Kevin McAllister's bedroom? It's making more sense now. If I slip on some micro machines, it's not gonna end well for old Grandpa Lemon. You don't wanna see me when I throw out my hip. It's not pretty, kids. Am I in Room Decorator 3000? Microsoft Simulator? What is this? Am I supposed to feng shui the room? And then I get bonus points? Alright, who's sleeping? That sounds like me. Okay, so I basically went into my neighbor's house to steal his flashlight. Was that the point of this? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Up, oh, way to go! You stole your neighbor's flashlight. What an odd thing to steal. You know? I don't know. 
This just seems weird. Well, all right. Hello. Um, just Grandpa Lemon here. Um, I, I hate playing this video game because I know you're gonna jump out and scare me, and I'm gonna make lemonade, and everyone's gonna laugh at me. All right, I don't need a cardboard box. I <gasps> what I need. Is oh, 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 God! Oh, oh, darn it! See in there? Hello? Please don't murder me! Oh, there he is. Oh, what's he doing? Hello? Am I supposed to go to the bathroom? Do I put the flashlight in the toilet or the tub? You know? This is the kind of stuff that keeps me up at night, kids. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this game. I think you're supposed to watch your neighbor murder somebody, and then the trick is you gotta steal his flashlight. And then once you do that, apparently you win the game or something. I don't know. But they're playing kind of creepy music. Is something supposed to happen? I don't know. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh! Oh, there's the creepy guy with the mustache again. Well, okay. When you watch those Friday the 13th movies, and the kids are laughing and playing and stuff, and then all of a sudden you hear, then you know that the killer is close, and I know I'm going to get scared, so I can sort of prepare. Oh, maybe I could use that to throw it in his face if I run into him. Okay. Wait. No, I don't... What's a flashlight? Ah! Oh! Gosh darn it! All right, I got a TV. Am I supposed to trash the room like a rock and roll star? Oh, wait, I got a flashlight. Hold on. What is the point of this? I had... I had coffee. That would have been better. Oh, get away from me! Ah! Hey, this is what I'm talking about. A pot of hot coffee in his face, I probably could have neutralized him. But what am I gonna do with lumens, okay? Yeah, that flashlight's got 50 lumens. Great. I don't see it uh, stopping a serial killer anytime soon. You know? I need something else. Gotta keep searching. You gotta do... And then, and then you always die in the... Oh! Oh, did he see me? Oh, they're doing the music. I, oh, I hate that music. That means he's chasing me! And all I have is a credit card hotel key or something. Oh. Oh, boy. Be all careful. Alright. <gasps> Oh! Oh no! Oh, he's right there! Oh! Darn it! Well, kids, I think that's gonna do it for me. I've had enough of this game. It was confusing. I hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, kids, if your neighbor... If you ever see your neighbor killing someone, don't forget to... <laughs> hey there, kids! Grandpa Lemon here, and today I'm playing... A game called The Joy of Creation R. And, uh, well, I, I don't, right off the bat, I'm, I'm playing of, I, I don't know if I like this game. Who's that guy in the, in the window, in the door there like that? He seems a little, I don't know. First floor, Ignited Freddy. Oh, I hope this isn't like that Five Nights of Freddy game. Let's see, though. Hopefully it's a fun game. All right. So it says they've ignited Freddy. I don't know if he's on fire or what. Collect five objects within a minute. Okay. Oh, it's kind of dark in here. Oh, I've got a flashlight. Oh, okay. You know what? Right off the bat, it doesn't like I don't I don't know if it's going to be a good game. This might be scary. But uh Okay, this is a little scary. What is that thing? What is that? Ah! What the heck was that? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, Grandpa Lemon almost just got a heart attack. Whoa, what kind of games are they making me play? Okay, oh, oh, all right. I have to avoid the guy with the glowing eyes. If I see him, I need to run for the hills. Okay, is that an object? Do I need to get it? That's an object. Okay, I see that object. How do I collect the objects? What, am I collecting them, or do I just have to look at them? What is going on? Is that a book? That's an object. Can I say that's an object? I just don't want that guy to get me. Where is he? Oh, that's a lamp. Okay. Whew. Thank, thank goodness. 
I thought that was something else. Okay, there's some papers. Let me get that. There's a filing cabinet. What kind of objects do they want me to get? I, I don't understand. This is a very scary game. Did that guy get... Did that guy leave? I need to turn some lights on in here. Oh. What the heck was that? I, I don't like... I, I don't know what that... Objective failed? What do you mean? I, I didn't get the objects? I don't know how to... Do I pick them up? What's going on? What is happening here? Okay, there's a plant. There's an object. Oh, this is so scary. I Sometimes I wish I could play this game with a friend. Do you guys wish you could play this game with a friend? Tell me in the comments below if you play these games by yourself or, or with your friends. Because I wish I could play this game with my friends right now. Oh, boy. Come on. What am I doing here? By the way, I don't even know. It says collect five objects. What does that have to do with anything? Why do I have to collect a plant, some papers, and a book, and, you know, all this stuff before Robot Boy gets me? Or what, what, whatever this thing is. Oh, God. Oh, God. There he is. I think I just saw him. Oh! Oh! Oh, God. He's after me. He's after me. Ah! Goodness gracious! Yeah, and I just made lemonade. Yep, I I just made lemonade, kids. Whew, wow, that's that's pretty embarrassing. I need to clean some of this up here. Yep, that's it, dripping. Oh boy. Um. Thank God, Grandpa Lemon wears his Depends undergarments. Hopefully, we can get them as a sponsor for this episode. When you need depends, when you go, uh-oh, they're for it. They're there for you. Or something. I, I, I don't even remember how it goes. Okay, I need to figure out how... Oh, God! Get off of me! Oh, every single time it happens, I'm just as scared as the first time it happened. Uh, okay, I just want to go on record and say, uh, Grandpa Lemon doesn't like this game, okay? He doesn't like it at all. Uh... I'm very scared right now. All right, gotta turn this on, turn it off. And by the way, uh, hey game developers, thanks for giving Grandpa Lemon the world's worst flashlight. What is this thing, like five candle power? Oh God, that's him, isn't it? It's him, oh, okay, okay. I gotta get the heck out of here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go down a different hallway. Oh boy, where is this place? I feel like I'm in the world's most boring dentist's office. Oh my. Okay. Where am I? I mean, there's no artwork on the walls, really. I, I think I saw an American flag earlier. I mean, is this a school? Where am I? Oh, God. Sounds like a giant trash compactor running around this place. Is there a way that I can destroy him? I mean, what is this thing? Objective failed. Again, uh, this game needs to be more specific because... I feel like Paul Blart Mall Cop, Cop here. Okay, I feel like Paul Blart Mall Cop here. All I have is a flashlight. You know, this is absolutely ridiculous. Seriously, like, I don't. They don't even give me a gun. Like, if you're gonna give me a mag light, how about you know maybe a 357 Magnum or even? I, oh, what the heck was that noise? Jeez, Louise! I'll tell you what, I know I don't have any hair on my head, but if I did, this game would give me a shock of white hair. Ah, who am I kidding? I, at this point, if I had hair, it would all be white. But you know what? This game would scare me enough to put color back into me. Oh! I think I just saw him. Oh! Get off of me! Gosh darn it. And by the way, uh, what's with the, the over-blaring the, the volume, you know? I guess that does add to the scariness, but come on. Like, I'd like to be able to keep what little hearing Grandpa Lemon has left. Oh, God, he was right there. I think he was right there. Oh! Run, Grandpa Lemon! I wonder if he's attracted to this flashlight. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh! Yep, he's still after me. He is still... Oh! Okay. 
I need to take some of my heart pills or something because my heart is racing. And I don't enjoy this game at all. It is scary and it's just, it's, it's, it's not fun. Okay, if I'm being completely honest with you kids, uh, why, why do you play this game? See, I know what the problem is, and I, now I'm going to address this to you kids out there, okay? This is for you, you youths. You youths, okay? Uh, don't encourage game developers to make scary games like this, because the more you play them, uh, the more they're just going to make them. And old people like myself uh, are going to play these games, and we're going to wet ourselves, and we're, we're going to make a mess of things. And... You know, let's not remember, you kids were young ones too. You were five years old. Yeah, you remember going to school with an extra pair of underwear. Why? Yeah, because sometimes you peed your pants. It's not fun when you pee your pants, is it? No, it's not. So, why, these game developers, they make these games. It's like a vicious circle. Oh, the objective failed. And see, again, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. At least tell me what I'm supposed to do. Maybe uh, I'm supposed to combine the plant with the book and the key with the tin foil and it makes something, you know, like in Resident Evil, I, I don't know. But right now the objective is really not, they're not really telling me anything and I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do, except get the crap scared out of me. They seem to be doing, if that's the objective of the game, I have the high score, trust me, okay? That's how, how good I am, because I'm, I'm, I'm scared. But see again, there's that plant, what am I supposed to do with that, okay? You know, at least in the Resident Evil games, you take the plant and you get some health. You know, this game, there's nothing. They don't even have Depends or anything lying around for me. Nothing. So back to what I was saying, kids. Stop playing this game immediately. And don't play any scare games in general. So then we can just go back to Grandpa Lemon playing Happy Wheels and Grandpa Lemon playing GTA V. At this point, I would even take uh, Toilet Treasures. You know, remember that game? I think I played that game one time. It was some kind of weird Japanese-German bathroom game, and I pulled stuff out of a toilet. Boring as all get out, but you know what? Uh, there weren't any robotic goblins that were possessed by a Chinese water ghost. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. So, whatever that means. But I, I, I much prefer a game like that over this, because... I don't know how much longer Grandpa Lemon can play this game without literally having a massive coronary. So, I'm warning you kids right now, you might be watching uh, the last moments of Grandpa Lemon. It's very possible. I could be... I could be gone from... I'm not... I could not be long for this world! Wow! Oh! Gosh darn it! He got me again. Okay, kids. Um... I just need to collect myself. Yep, yeah, I went to the bathroom again. Wow, that's, that's twice in one sitting. That's, uh, I didn't even think I had to go again until I just went. So, I'm discovering all kinds of new things about myself today. I didn't know. Um, well, kids, that about does it for me. I, I can't play this game much longer. Oh, God. Uh, so, uh, if you like this video, and I don't know why you would, but, uh, if you liked it, please hit that like button now! Hey there kids, Grandpa Lemon here, and today I'm playing a game called Toka Kitchen. Okay, so kind of like a, a, a cooking game, I guess. Alright, sounds good. Well, clearly this kitchen's already a mess, so I won't feel bad about cooking in it. Alright. Hello. Alright, what do I do here now? Alright, so I guess this is the first customer of the day. Alright, sir. Oh, I don't know about... I don't know how I feel about cooking other fruits. I mean, I'm a fruit. Oh, wow, and that was a lemon. And not even a whole one, just a piece? Oh, oh, jeez. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm squeezing a relative's dead body onto this other piece of fruit. Okay. This will be an interesting, uh... Interesting dish. I'm not sure. I'm, again, guys, I'm, I'm not a uh, culinary master, but mm. oh I, I'm trying to think what what type of food you you just sprinkle lemon juice on a tomato. Let's see what you would like to eat. Oh my good sir! I, I I don't know what your type of creature you are, but you came straight from my nightmares. 
Uh, all right, let's, uh, yeah, you seem like you'd be the type of guy that would like a deep-fried pineapple. Why not? I don't know if you kids know this, but did you know it takes, I heard, like, two years to fully grow a pineapple? Did you know that? Two years! Not months. All right, yeah, now we're gonna get some deep-fried fish and carrots. Because who doesn't like that? Yeah, it just needs a little seasoning. And I bet it'll be... Oh, God. No, I, and then more of that lemon. Let's see. Let's see if he likes it. Let me, do I get it? There we go. Up. Oh, is there room? Oh, there we go. What do you think? You like it? Oh, oh you, you seem to like it. I guess that makes sense. I don't know what you eat. You look like you feast off of the... Harvested souls of children, but you know, that's that's a whole nother story for another time uh, I would I would like it for you to get out of my kitchen as soon as possible. So let me just get you fed Let me grill up a watermelon again kids uh, if you're watching this at home I don't know if you really want to be trying to cook these same things So if you happen to have watermelon in your uh, refrigerator do yourself and your parents a favor Don't put it in a pan and fry it because that's just gonna cause you all kinds of trouble uh, same thing here. What is this? Corn? Strawberries? Oh, an orange! <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, you have no idea how many times I've wanted to put the orange in a deep fryer and just leave him there for a week. He can get so annoying sometimes. <laughs> yeah, not talking now, are you? Yeah, that's what happens when you're sitting in a 600 degree bath of hot oil. <laughs> All right, finally. The annoying orange is quiet. No more noises. Oh, yes. All right. I've never tried a deep-fried strawberry, but now I want to. Hey, if you're paying attention out there, state fairs, there's a few things you haven't deep-fried yet. Oh, he seemed to like that. All right. Let's go to our next person. Hopefully that scary snowman... Oh, I thought the snowman was gone. Did I hit the wrong button? What, what am I doing? It, all right. Oh, jeez. I got to make food for you again. There you go. There's some raw carrots and a, and a pear. Oh, I guess you're skipping the meat, huh? Oh, are, are you a vegetarian or something? Jeez. Wow, you just ate that corn whole with the cob and everything. Raw meat? Now, that's you don't want to eat raw meat, okay? Because now you're talking about salmonella. You can get listeria poisoning, all types of bad stuff that you don't want. Wow, and now, now you're spitting on me? I just gave you a 15-course meal and that's how you repay me? Yeah, you like that? Too bad you can't eat it. I'm just going to keep I'm gonna keep moving it around your face. All right, now I just got to cut this up a little bit. Let me sprinkle some stuff on there. I don't, Kids, I don't even know what type of fruit this is. It looked like... Something that, I don't know, Sonic the Hedgehog would eat or something. Do you kids know what that type of fruit that is? What is that? Well, I'm going to put it on this plate and give it to the scary snowman monster. He probably will eat it. Oh, there's a shrimp. You know what? Yeah, that's what we need. Shrimp, onions, a tentacle, and we'll just... Oh, my gosh. Oh, what is that? Oh, that, that's horrible, kids. Uh I don't eat, oh, if he, oh, don't drink it, don't drink it, whatever you, oh, you drank it, you drank my seafood slushy. yeah, okay, that's the reaction I figured, but, okay, why are you still drinking it if you just gave me a yuck face, you are the weirdest person I've ever met, how's that, yeah, you don't get out much, do you, because if you're eating this food, I mean, you'll probably eat anything, what, are you, you drank it again! It's not like I swapped it out for a Coca-Cola or something. Oh, jeez. This guy's really dense. He's really dense. Uh, ho ha hoo ha to you, too. Little, uh, all right. Uh, let's see what you want. Hopefully, you're, you don't seem as scary as the other guy. You got your Hot Topic shirt going on, but you seem way less scary and way more approachable. Than the scary looking snowman or whatever that abomination was. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's put some uh, mushrooms in here. 
maybe a little tomato, an onion, throw some ketchup on there, of course some joie de me, and what do we got? Uh, probably something that's not good, I'm not going to lie, kids. Uh, Grandpa Lemon got a job one time at Jamba Juice, and I was fired before my lunch break, so it didn't, it didn't go well for me. Uh, so I'm not really good at making the juices, but, you know, you put a little salt and pepper and soy sauce into the pasta, and apparently it's going to be good. Probably not. It's probably going to taste like hot garbage, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see. So far, everyone seems to like most of the food I've made, so I feel like the bar is set very low. You know, it's not like I'm serving Anthony Bourdain, and he's going to just critique me to death and tell me how horrible... My culinary uh, designs are. Oh, you don't like it? Come on, just have a little bit more. What do you think? Well, all right. You you kind you kind of seem fifty fifty on that one. I got to get better at doing. Ha what is this ha ha hoo ha? Greeting. Do you do you not actually speak English, ma'am? No. No. Okay. Oh, oh, so you like broccoli. Okay, she so like you, you kind of got excited when I pulled the broccoli out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna blend that up. <clears throat> Maybe a tentacle, some Sonic the Hedgehog fruit, and a fish. Does that sound that sounds like something that would be good, right? Oh, a fish, a tentacle, and broccoli. Mmm. Watch out, stomach. Here it comes. I think you're gonna like this one a lot more. What do you think? Oh, you don't like it? Jeez, you're a tough nut to crack. All right. Maybe if I fry this up in the pan, she'll like it more. Oh, it's turning green. That's kind of cool. Got some burn marks on it. Put some Tabasco sauce on it. Oh, maybe a little ketchup. That'll be good. That ketchup bottle sounds like it's farting. All right, then we'll grill up an onion. Oh, yeah. Put some mystery juice on it. Some more of me. A little salt and pepper. Don't forget to push it. Push it real good. All right. There we go. Now it's on the plate. Yeah, have some more of your disgusting drink. Oh, yeah. Well, you didn't seem like... Oh, well, wait. You do hate it then. Okay. How is that? Wash it down with some more gross drink. Yeah? Uh, uh, Alright, we'll try this fruit. Uh, 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 there you go. Get it in there. How do I put it in her mouth? It, come on. There we go. How was that? Oh, you're just like your mother. Always complaining. Do you know how hard I have to work to let you eat steak? It's not... Yeah, I'm going to deep fry it. You're going to love deep fried steak. It's delicious. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Cooked to perfection. That looks delicious. All right, now let's try this. A little lemon. A little soy sauce. Make it spicy. Yeah, relax, okay? I know what I'm doing. And no steak is complete without ketchup. I feel like that's, you know, that's what a lot of uh, uncouth people do. They put ketchup on their steak. There we go. How is that? Oh, um, yeah. Pretty good. Oh, you're giving me the yuck face. Well, you know what? This girl, she's impossible to please, so I think I'm going to end it there. You know, I, uh, clearly my culinary... Uh, attributes are not being admired, so I think that's going to do it for me. Hopefully you kids like this video. What's your favorite meal to eat? Mine would probably be, oh jeez, I don't know, pizza, tacos, hamburgers. Uh, there's too many, too many to choose. But anyway, uh, just remember kids, the next time your parents make you something to eat, don't forget to...